Why is China ramping up construction of missile silos? Freelance analysts in the United States confirmed vague Pentagon speculation since around 2018 that China intended to expand its force of land-based strategic missiles capable of reaching most or all of the U.S. These analysts found 120 to 145 newly constructed silos for such missiles probably the DF-41, the newest in the Chinese arsenal. China has roughly 350 nuclear weapons of which about 100 are operational missiles capable of reaching the U.S., all with a single warhead. The DF-41 has been designed to carry multiple warheads, so these developments, taken together, foreshadow an uncharacteristically large and sudden surge in a critical Chinese nuclear capability. What might have triggered this buildup? The most obvious possibility and certainly a contributing factor is that China fears falling too far behind the U.S. and Russia. U.S. offensive nuclear forces have experienced relative neglect since the end of the Cold War relative, in particular, to defenses against strategic nuclear missiles. But Russia's determined efforts to thwart these defenses and maintain a viable deterrent, combined with the growing inefficiency and safety concerns associated with aging U.S. systems and the demise both of several arms control agreements and of shared instincts to probe for new agreements, have resulted in a U.S. commitment to a comprehensive modernization program. These developments will certainly have major consequences for China as well. But another unprecedented package of considerations might also be coming into play. In recent times China has openly portrayed its system of governance as a viable alternative to liberal democracy. It has declared its intent to seek reform of the so-called rules-based order and reaffirmed its intention to persist with its more spectacular aspirations for geopolitical change, notably bringing Taiwan formally into the People's Republic of China and confirming Chinese sovereignty over the South China Sea. Beijing will certainly be aware that each of these aspirations will constitute a supreme test of the tools available to sustain stability and peace and may well have concluded that a nuclear order more supportive of its interests would be a prudent investment.